Welcome to the Rapid Bridge, connecting modern minds to the ancient truth of God's Word. It is our goal to connect the modern day people to the ancient truth of God's Word through current language as well as scientific and technological references. Hey Mike here. Previously we've gone over the abyss and a number of other interesting features of Revelation. Now we're moving on to chapter 10. <clears throat> this is where we see the little scroll. Then I saw another mighty angel coming down from heaven. His robe was in a cloud, with a rainbow above his head and a face like the sun. Legs were like fiery pillars. You have to keep in mind that the word angel here does not mean what we usually think it means in English. This passage is actually talking about Jesus. He is bringing a message to earth. He is the messenger. Uh, consider the passages in Genesis and Judges which uh, present various aspects of what we call the Trinity as the angel of the Lord. So this being wrapped in the clouds and rainbow over his head refers to passages in Revelation about God's throne um, a little earlier. He was holding a little scroll which lay open in his hand. He planted his right foot on the sea and his left foot on the land. This indicates that he has full authority over the land and the sea. And he gave a loud shout at the roar of a lion. When he shouted, the voice of the seven thunders spoke. Remember, Jesus is portrayed as a seven-eyed, seven-horned lamb. Uh, this represents complete power, complete knowledge, and these seven voices like thunder represents his authority and that his will overrides any other. This is complete authority. And when the seven thunders spoke, I was about to write, but then I heard a voice from heaven say, seal up what the seven thunders said and do not write it down. Sadly, this is not for us to hear until it gets there. Then the angel I had seen standing on the sea and on the raised land, on the land raised his right hand to heaven. And he swore by him who lives forever and ever who created the heavens and all that is in them, and the earth and all that is in it, and the sea and all that is in it. He said, there will be no more delay. But when the days of the seventh angel is about to sound his trumpet, the mystery of God will be accomplished, just as he announced his servants and prophets. We know for sure that this is Jesus, as he announced to his prophets and servants. Um, what are the angels but his servants? His message is clear at this point. Time up, game over. Then the voice that I had heard from heaven spoke to me once more. Go, take the scroll that lies open in the hand of the angel who is standing on the sea and the land. So I went to the angel and asked him to give me the little scroll and he said, take it and eat it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will be as sweet as honey. I took the scroll from the angel's hand and ate it. It tasted as sweet as honey in my mouth, but when I'd eaten it, my stomach turned sour. We have seen this before in Ezekiel, um, where taking the word of God is sweet and pleasing. The message of redemption, forgiveness is pleasing to the mind and soul. However, the aftermath of it, when you realize that people you know and love are in hell, and no matter how hard you try to convince people, there's only so much that you can do it's ultimately not up to you what they decide additionally you will not be well received you can lose friends and family and the favor of society over this many people have even lost jobs in their life over it when you eat it it's sweet but when it finally hits your stomach it's sour he continues i was told you must prophesy about many peoples nations languages and kings this is the truth. And that's all I've got for this week. This was a short video. Um, hopefully I'll be uploading something else later in the week. But until next week, that's all I've got. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and found it enlightening, please consider liking, subscribing, clicking the bell, and sharing these videos. Thank you and have a blessed day.